once again, you beautiful nerds. I am Wildfire One. We are continuing the Yeld Mermaid Hunters playthrough. Uh, this will be the last episode in the series. We're gonna see what happened to, of course, Dave the dog, Millie, and and Mikey, and all them, and we'll see what goes on from there. Uh, of course, I'm gonna introduce our, our awesome GM, uh, Clovis. Guess away. Thank you, everyone. As we watched last time. Mildred, or better known as Millie, and alongside her friend Mikey, toppled Melody, the undead mermaid, finding out she was once married to the shopkeeper. When the shopkeeper then asked if she went quickly, they told her that that bitch suffered and made him cry. Aren't they great, kids? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. No, you're not. You're brats. With weapons. True. <laughs> and a dead dog. Again. Yeah. Well, you know, dying is what Dave does. He's kind of like the Kenny of the story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Grizzly McBee, also known as Mikey. Uh, I'm Monster74, and I play Millie. And I'm High School 960, the dead dog. He is Dave the dog. He dies. Oh my god, they killed Dave! <laughs> you bastards! <laughs> So, as I said, you both just walked inside the inn after telling that man about how his wife suffered. As you get inside, the barkeeper is looking at you with a grim, with a glare. Did you really have to break it to him like that? It's been a really long day. My dog died again. We just want a room. We want to go home. She's looking at you with a very stern look and her arms crossed. Did you really have to break it to him like that? Yes, yes, we did. She killed our dog. She was hard to defeat. We did. The innkeeper shakes her head. Says, I have half a mind to tell you to sleep out under the stars. But you can have the empty room again. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You kids seriously need to work on your manners. So we just walk up to the room. <laughs> As you pass some of the other rooms, you notice the other rooms are much better kept. The room is just, a is just as bad as the last time you left it. You are beginning to wonder if you were given this room on purpose. You don't know how to clean. Maybe this is the only magical room that brings back dead friends. Gonna bring you back that lady. Well, at least we got a room. Hopefully, we can get out of here soon. Yes. So, which one of you is gonna be brave enough to sleep in the bed? I'll take the floor. I like how the first person to vote immediately dies for the floor. <laughs> I'll sleep in the bed wake up the next morning to find Dave the dog kissing you all over. He's so happy to not be dead again. Most people don't get to ever say that I'm happy to not be dead again. That is a unique experience. Yeah, although this time I saw my dad. He's being on his favorite gray fire hydrant. The highest aspiration of all dogs, to pee on the right place. Is there anything new in the room? No. Well, I mean, Dave's back. Can I smell around the room for anything new? You smell like your two friends smell all kinds of fishy right now, having went into the mountain cave you from the waterfall. Shower. The showers. Of course, the closest bathhouse. You didn't see anything like that around here. Maybe you can go jump in the lake. I've, I've had enough of water for, for one trip. Which probably explains why you smell that way. Mm -hmm. You smell like that, I like that for the past few weeks, you tell me. Didn't we bring back stuff from her dead body? or? Yeah, his her picture with her husband that we gave to him. Wasn't there also a doll? So you have a porcelain doll. It looks old and weathered in Mikey's bag because that's where Mikey puts everything he steals. It wasn't stealing. It was a gift for defeating a monster. So green robin. 
Hey, shut up. You died. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't take something of mine. Where's Where's my fishing net? I don't know. You had it last. You realize the fishing net is on the bed. You said there's a blanket. How? <laughs> Can I headbutt him? Can we put that uh, porcelain doll with the others so that... Yes, you can place it on the shelf next to the other one. Mikey, how about you put it on the shelf? This way she'll be closer to her husband. Placed on shelf. Right? As you're placing it on the shelf, the innkeeper comes in. He begins stating, Not that I necessarily care either way, but if you don't leave, you may never be able to leave. I'm just saying. Well, where do we need to go to get home? Yeah. The door you came in... Let's uh, get to that door as quick as possible. Yes. You walk by a whole bunch of monsters as you leave the inn and eating pancakes and bacon and eggs and drinking coffee. That's a weird sight. Apparently they're not morning people either. Wonderful when, when we get home, my mom will make us pancakes. It just sounds good. With bacon and eggs? Mm, bacon sounds good. Yes, Dave, but... Just bacon with anything sounds good. You take bacon with dirt. Well, yeah, because bacon makes everything taste better. Bacon flavored dirt, good one, oh, wild. Bacon flavored dirt's good. Is that why you lick your balls? Because you dip them into bacon grease? How I, what I do with my body is none of your concern. <laughs> you are too young for this talk. All right, guys. Let's leave this place. As you go outside, you see a whole bunch of people out there fishing. Again, everyone seems more absorbed in their fishing than anything else. I oh, thought we would get applause for defeating the big old bad mermaid. But... Yeah, but mm, telling people you made her suffer? I don't think so. Yeah, you should have been a little bit nicer. One of the one of the big furry fairies is shouting at you. Great work! Woo! I think that's the fairy you gave the pills to. <laughs> he has a crazy look in his eye. Maybe he used them for all you know. <laughs> in one day. Continue <laughs> back around the lake, up to the forested trail, back to the clearing, where you still see the door frame sitting in the middle of the clearing, just standing there like door frames don't normally do. Well, we came in that way. What if we go out the opposite way that we came in? Maybe it's like an invisible door. I mean, anything in this land's possible, right? I mean, I'm a talking dog, so sure. Let's go. Let's you, see how, if it works. The hinges in the door only seem to open one way. Well, then we pull instead of push. The door opens easily. Anything on the other side? Yes, the attic. So before we go through, I want to say something because I could, I would think once I get over there, I won't be able to talk. Mikey, you need to not be a klepto. You need not steal everything. I don't know what you're talking True. about. I'm a collector. I am a collector of fine items. Just, it is not just so you know, just so you know, if I give you the look, I know you stole something. Well, just so you know, when we get home, I'm going to. Let mom and dad know that you like to hump things and you need to be fixed. Oh, you know what? Can I stay behind? But think of the adventures we can have in the future. Ah, uh, yes, adventures of Mikey and stealing things. Really, <laughs> you're going to keep an eye on them, right? Yeah, sure. Just think of all the trouble Mikey's going to be when his, when his dog's missing and he tries to explain where his dog is. I'm fine with that. Well, what about that female neighbor dog, huh? The one you're always sniffing her butt. What What am I uh, supposed yeah, to tell I'm her? Already, I'm already fixed, so... Uh, <laughs> Don't matter. Mikey doesn't understand how this works. <laughs> he thinks he understands, but he doesn't understand how this works. You just go, I'll stay here in case you guys ever come back. We ain't coming back. We ain't never coming back here. Well, who's who's gonna scratch you behind the ear? Who's, who's gonna scratch your belly, huh? If you stay. Fairy that huh? you gave the pills to. <laughs> he's gonna scratch. No, he, he's back. gonna do more than scratch your belly. He's gonna scratch, uh, you know, other things with out his hands. So I, I I walk up to Dave the dog and 
I get down on my knees and pat him on the head and tell him that I'm going to miss him, but I'll see him real soon. And I pick him up and I throw his ass through the fucking door. <laughs> By real soon, he means like seconds from now. Yep. <laughs> so you both go through the door and quickly shut it. <laughs> As you get to the other side, the magic runes lit around the door all immediately go out. I'm immediately, glad I don't the have to... immediately, the police from downstairs break into the room. Oh, oh shit. shit, I forgot about that. I'm going to be in it so much trouble. It seems you arrived just about the time you were leaving. Yes, you're one, of the cops has his, one of the cops has his gun pointed at you and screams, Hands up, perp! I'm yeah, only I'm nine. Man. I didn't do it. We heard reports that somebody was breaking into this place. We were just checking it out. So you admit you broke in? Nope. Back door was already open. We just heard noises. We were came to check ourselves. First cop points to the second. We've got a bunch of wise asses. I want you to check all their pockets and everything. Check that guy's bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mikey, let them uh, check you, your bag. You're you in the can attic. check my the bag. The only way just out you. of the attic is down the th down what they just came through. And the cops are walking towards you with guns. Mikey, by the way, you put everything you jacked from the place in your bag. Yeah, I'm, just the sitting thing there, I... I'm just sitting there with a cockeyed smile, just looking at him. You can check my bag. Just be careful because I have my custom Atari gaming system in there and it's very fragile because that's the only thing I have left in my bag. Ooh. The cop looks at you funny like, kid, how old are you? You stole it from here. Where's your proof? And I'm only nine. The cop cocks his gun. You think you're about to learn about those bad cops you hear on TV. He's ordering you to get on the floor and put your head, your hands on your head. What you did, Mikey? It's okay. It's if he shoots me, you and Dave and my parents will be rich. And I'll have cool scars if I live. So, Millie, are you getting on the floor? Yeah, I'm doing just as I'm told. I Dave, what are you goes. doing? Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. I have expected to say you start licking your nuts. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm already sitting on the floor. I'm Unfortunately, the cop doesn't realize that Dave is agreeing with everything he says. Uh-oh. Dave's going to die for real. So, Mikey, <laughs> what do you do? I get down on the ground and put my hands on my head and tell him that he's being recorded. The police officer goes through your backpack and finds... The old dust-covered Atari 2600 in games. He's not convinced that this belongs to you. Melody. Especially since some of them have the family's daughter's name written on them. Melody. Oh, I'm only nine. They can't send me to jail. That's what you think. You're right. They can't. They offer to do something far worse. Give yeah. you a ride home to your house. <laughs> Son, I don't think you get this, but after we're done talking to your parents, you're going to be lucky if your ass feels like you can sit down for a month. It's all you're going to be lucky if my parents don't sue you for cocking back the hammer on your gun, pointing at an unarmed nine-year-old. Woof, woof. Why can't you be like a normal delinquent and be playing Fortnite at three in the morning when you're supposed to be asleep? <laughs> Because I'm into more retro games, okay? The only people that play that don't have real friends and want, just want to be cool because it's a fad. See, I have real friends, and I am cool, so I don't need to play that dumb game. The cop looks over to Millie and says, he plays Fortnite, doesn't he? No, he plays Halo, like those retro games. Get downstairs! Three and three. Yes, sir. You are escorted to the cop car, and the cops point out that for for you trying to claim you weren't all over this house getting shit, your footprints are all over the dusty floor. Like Millie said, we were, we heard a noise and we were trying to figure out where it was coming from. Yeah, the cops like, yeah, were. you were the noise. Fortunately for you, you don't go to jail. As promised, you get to go to your house. Ride home. Me. Where the cops spend about 30 minutes talking with each of your parents before you're released. Well, I guess this is it, Millie. I guess I'll see you uh, in high school. 
<laughs> well, you know, I'm not the one that took stuff, so I'll see you. I'll, I'll, I'll call you next week. <laughs> hey, you want you a dog? <laughs> As Mikey is allowed to go back in his house, you can hear his dad screaming that he's going to have words with him. Mikey's house didn't sound like the best one. Yes, yes, Wild. Words is exactly code word for belt. Mm-hmm. Mikey's dad is going to have belt with him. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dave the dog gets a treat. Woof, woof. Because they don't assume Dave the dog knows any better, even though he does. Dave knows everything. Maybe you'll return to Yeld someday. Maybe you won't. Either way, you definitely killed some mermaids. Oh, yeah. And I sold some Viagra and uh, 1971 June's issue of Playboy. Be glad you didn't still have that when the cop found you. Yeah, I know. That, uh, that would have really been bad. Yeah, try, thing. try explaining to the cop if you still have the porcelain doll, the Viagra, and the Playboy magazine. He was going to experiment. Oh, God. And you got to have two, two police officers cranky at three in the morning use unreasonable police force on you. So it sounds like the one that got the most flack out of everything was poor Mikey. Well, doesn't he deserve it? I, no. I don't know. Like it's it's hard it's hard to say. He's a little bit of a klepto, but yes, I'd yeah. assume that his parents would know that by now. I was the he's most the, adventurous. He's the one that got me neutered in the first place. <laughs> no, you wouldn't stop humping things. I'm sorry if your teddy bear looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll we'll end this like we do the rest of all of them. Favorite parts so far, starting with Clovis. I like the fact that they decided they were going to shame the cops into letting them go. And the cops like, my name is Officer, get your fucking ass downstairs. (laughs) So what about you? When when Dave tried to stay and Mikey picked him up and threw him in the door. Yeah. What about you, Monster? What was your highlight of this game? Uh, my my favorite part is the what ifs. If if uh, Mikey was found with pills. Oh uh, yeah, if you were porcelain doll and 1971 yeah. Playboy. Yeah, that'd have been a really weird question. A bunch of questions. What are you doing with at, this? Um, at that point, the police officer would have so much more to say to his parents. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. What about you, uh, Ice Cold? What's your favorite? Your highlight? Mikey getting arrested. Yes. 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 Technically, I was not arrested. I was detained because you cannot okay, arrest Mikey a nine-year-old. Okay, Mikey get everything he deserved. <laughs> he's, no, no, he's right. He wasn't arrested because there were, they, the police officer didn't bother to file charges because, as I said, it was 3 a.m. and they didn't want to be doing it. They well, didn't... him and his dad had belt, so there you go. Yes, well, yes, he had um... much belt. But, you know, Mikey and Millie get in trouble and Dave Dog get in the tree. Guys, I want to uh, see some fan art. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Oh, God, don't ask for that. I can't wait to I, see what Wildfire... Oh. I can't wait to see what image Wildfire throws up when the police get on their ass. <laughs> well, all right, then, guys. Well, thank you guys for being with us with all this. Uh, it's been what? This is part what? Four. Four. Five. Four. Five? Five. Yeah, five. five. Yeah, so it's been five a good five episodes. We'll we're probably we're probably gonna do another another game here in the future with something else. We gotta we gotta discuss that and hash that out. So uh uh till then guys we want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy. Stay sexy. Always. 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 Have a good one everybody.